Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I did a little bit of shopping online. Not a big deal, but a little bit of a deal. Um, I bought a couple of things from Target. And then I bought a little bit from um, Ulta. You guys know I've raved about the Sony Cashin uh, Foundation. And I bought the Vanilla 2 thinking that it would be okay. But it had more of a yellow undertone for it for me. I could blend it out, but I had to really work with it with uh, a wet sponge to really get it to do. So, I went online, and it took forever to get this in on the line. And I ordered the, um, it's B-I-S-Q-U-E. And I really like this for an everyday foundation. It's got a really good smell to it. And you're going to hear the dial, and you're going to hear the scanner. I forgot to cut them down. I'm sorry. But it blends out really pretty. So, you can't even tell that I got it on. So I think this is really going to work a little bit better than what I had. And then Target never did have the concealer. Every time I would look for the concealer, they didn't have it. They were out of stock. I'd ask people. They were out of stock. So when I was online shopping on Target, I got me some Sam and Levy um, flats is what I got to wear with my La La Row uh, leggings for the spring and summer. I, I, I like my boots with them, but in the spring and summer, you don't want to wear boots. And the materials that they're making now is a little bit thinner to work with the spring and summer. And I just did my live video. This is going up tomorrow. I'll edit it in the morning and then put it up tomorrow evening sometime. Um, I did a live video. I <laughs> invited 50 some people. It was three. So I'm, I'm kind of upset and heartbroken over that. Um, I don't know if, what happened. Um, I know she was having issues with her internet and things like that but I just don't know but anyway she's going to do a replay so check it out it's Darlene's live La La Rue uh, party on um, online party uh, she's going to do a live she's going to do a replay it's going to be two parts because the first part was fine and then it froze and then she had to start and she just started so it's the second part and then she said tomorrow that she would um, check with me and see if I'm busy and if I'm not, which I don't have anything planned tomorrow, uh, then we would do another live live one. And you all can request what you want to see. Um, she's got Sarah. She's got um, Lindsay's. She's got just about anything you can think of. She's got some kids stuff. So, but anyway, back to what I ordered from Target um, after the, the Libby's is the um, concealer. I never could find it in store. Bristol nor Kingsport had it. So I actually found it online on Target.com and it's the felt tip and you just wind it up until the product comes up here and I don't want to do that yet. Um, so I ordered these from Target. Um, I think it was last Wednesday and I got it today. So it's a pretty good turnaround. It didn't take long. Now the next thing I got, you all know I've been, I've got a love-hate relationship with this NYX. Um, Total Control Dropper uh, Foundation. I ordered the um, porcelain when I ordered it. And it's $14 and I got this one for $13.99. It was a penny difference. The other was $14 even. And this is from Ulta. I didn't buy the brush again because I absolutely hate that brush. I've tried that brush several times. This actually works really well with the um, Real Techniques. I'm shaking it because you got to shake it real good. And I ordered Alabasta this time and it's actually um more my color because you all know i'm white as white my name my last name definitely suits me and i've done wiped off the other so you can tell i mean you can see the outline there so i think that's going to work really well um then makeup revolution has come out with some new highlighters they've got a strobe highlighter and they've got I think four of these, but the one I got is called um, Holographic Lights, and it's cool package. It's clear on top, and then it's got a rose gold black back, and it's plastic. It's got the dome shape, and then it looks like that. I think it looks like snow, almost, like, you know, snow banks, snow waves. It's very creamy. And it is very beautiful. I love that. 
And then as I was looking, and I go to the new products is what I go to. And look, they have, uh, and there's three of these. And the one I got was Goddess of Faith. And I can't remember the other two to save my life. But these are triple bait highlighters. That's what the box looks like. It's beautiful. Beautiful packaging, I think. And then when you open it up, it's a heart shape. And I know, um, was it Too Faced that did the heart shape? Uh, things or was it um, benefit I can't remember which one but it's a flat white pearl box rose color and then gold on the back and then it looks like this and when you swatch it make sure my fingers clean here when you swatch it it looks like that and then I'm gonna put it beside of the other one and it's so I mean it's down below it, so to me, you could build that up, or you can wear that for an everyday, just kind of hint of a highlight, if you don't want, like, a strong highlight everyday. Um, when I put makeup on, highlighter goes on, too. I mean, even the simplest highlighter. Then, I know Kylie Jenner has got her makeup, her uh, lipstick collab out. I've not tried it. I can't afford it. I think they're, like, $39 or $49 a pack. But Makeup Revolution has come out with Retro Lux Matte Lip Kits. There's four up. No, there was five or six. I can't remember exactly. I got three. I got three of them. Um, I think they were $6 a piece. $5 a piece. They wouldn't very much. And I got Ringle, which is a red color. Grande, which is a pink, pinky color. And then I got... Um, Ryan. I think that's how you pronounce that. Rain. R-E-I-G-E-N. -E um, I haven't opened all of these. I opened the red one. I can show you what it looks like before I open the other two. I got it open. It comes with a lip pen, um, a lip liner, and then the liquid lipstick to match. All those are a very pretty color. I'll swatch it. I haven't swatched them. So this is the first time swatched on period. That's a very pretty color. I like that. It's an orangey red. And then, um, well, let me get that in the right hole here. Uh, let me open the other two real quick and I'll show you what they look like. Let me get my handy dandy opener here, which is a knife, which I've cut myself with. So I'm going to try real hard not to do that again. Let me open them both so I don't have to try to open them both. Um, the next one is Rain. Is that what you said, Josh? Rain? Um, it's R-E-I-N-G. So that's why I had a problem with it. It's a pinky nude. I think it's a very pretty pinky nude. Um, there's a plastic. Is the only reason I'm not doing the lip liner. I'll put it beside. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's definitely a nude pink. It's gorgeous. And these are definitely matte. They dry matte for sure. Um, so. And then the last one is Grande. G-R-A-N-D-E-E. -E. And I thought this was pretty. It looked pretty on the line. It's pink. I need to call that Barbie pink. I don't call that Barbie pink. And then it's got the lip liner. Um, I'll put it on the opposite side of the red one. That's more like a bubblegum pink, I think. I like that. I like all three of them. I'm not disappointed with them. I wanted a brown color one, but they were sold out of it. Uh, so this is something new that they just came out with and they had done sold out. So I've got some tutorials. This will go up tomorrow, like I said. I Tuesdays and, Tuesdays and Thursdays is when I'm going to be uploading. I've got some tutorials coming. I have got a full face elf tutorial coming. I'm going to do it tomorrow and it'll be up next Tuesday. It was requested. I've got all of my products in already and ready to go. And I'm actually shocked with some of the new products that they've come out with. Um, they're beautiful. They swatch good. I've swatched some of them last night. Then I've got some that I have had. That I'm going to incorporate only because uh, I want you all to see the difference between then and now. Um, 
that's that's the only reason. Um, other than that, they are not wherever you are. Be safe. Be careful as always. You're in my thoughts and prayers if you're going through any kind of trouble or tri tributes. Um, first responders, military, police, fire and EMS, you and your families are in my thoughts and prayers as always because at the end of the day, you have to come home to your families. Um, I always, you know, being a wife of a firefighter and an EMS, I always think, you know, how I would feel if Josh was out on something major. So just know that you're always in my thoughts and prayers. Um, other than that, I'm going to go. Like I said, dare not wherever you are. Be careful. Be safe. The world's getting to be, I feel, a little bit more stable, um, at least in the United States. There's not as much controversy and problems going on, I don't think. I've not read any bad things going on, which is good. Um, I did see a funny, here, here's a funny thing that I did see, and I thought it was a nice thing, so I'm going I'm to share it with you. Uh, Ohio cop got paged, got dispatched to a 911 call from a child who needed help with his homework. The cop went to the house and helped the child with his homework. So, kudos to you, whoever the Ohio policeman was. It didn't give the name. I don't know if it was a city cop or if it was a deputy or what it was, but kudos to police that do things like that. And there, there's more, there's more good things happening, but the media seems to play on the bad things, and that just really irritates me. Smokey's wanting in the video, but we're not going to do that tonight. No, no video tonight for you. He's looking at me like, Mom, please. Can you get up here? Okay. One quick look. Mm, he's still here. We ain't killed him. He's getting a new collar. He's got a new collar coming. Um, when I ordered this, it didn't look like it was the Kentucky Blue that it is when it come in. And I told Josh the other night, I can't stand that no more. The reason I like these collars, and I get them from a... Estee. Estee. Um... If he'll let me take it off without having a hissy fit. He loves his collar on. He's wore a collar since he was six weeks old. He will throw a fit. He will try to take it. When I order them, I get them engraved on the clip. Instead of him having to have another... This is the county tag. He has to have this saying he's had his shots. But they engrave his name, where he's from, and in my phone number on it. So he doesn't have to have another little tag. Because before we had two tags and he would eat them. He don't bother them no more, so um, that that's the reason I order them from there. They're not very much. They come from China, and it does take a little bit longer. Okay, quit. You're gonna fall, but it, it's worth it to me. And they're like sixteen bucks, and that's with shipping and handling and everything. And the collars last. I mean, the only reason I'm changing that is because it it reminds me too much of Kentucky Blue, and I'm not a Kentucky fan. Anyway, I'm going to go and grab me a snack. Josh is going to go back to work tomorrow. He works Thursday and Friday night. And he's off the weekend. He's off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, I'll have him for the weekend. We got the housework done. We got all the laundry done. So, we've got the weekend to do whatever we want to do. We'll probably rent some movies and stay home. That's that's our... To us, that, that's fun. Staying at home watching movies because he's out all night driving. So... But anyway, I'm going to go. I will have a tutorial Tuesday. I promise you it will be a makeup tutorial. I do have some um, prom looks I want to try to do. I've got some loose pigments that's glitter. I'm going to work with those. Um, the next couple of videos you guys see will be actual tutorials instead of unboxings and talkings and that kind of thing. If there's anything you all want to see, recommendations, uh, comment in the comment bar. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do have a giveaway that I'm planning to do. In July, the end of July, if I reach 100 plus subscribers. So, we're going to be back to that. Tell a friend, tell that friend, tell five friends, you tell five friends, so on and so forth. Um, it's not going to be like gift cards and that kind of thing. It's going to be actual products. And um, once we start getting some more subscribers and working with some more stuff, then I can start showing you some more things that I'm putting in the box for the giveaway. Um, I've reached out to some more PR people uh, for products. I've gotten a couple emails back. Uh, Josh and I sat down last night and made, what was it, a four-page list of, pro of companies that I want to contact uh, for PR. 
Um, but guys, the thumbs up, the comments, the more interaction you all give me, the more I can help you. Uh, I mean, that's what I'm being told. So, you help me, I help you, it works out. And if it works out, then I can do giveaways every two or three months, every four or five months. But we've got to really, we've got to work together. So, I'm going to go, and y'all have a good night wherever you are. Love you all.